Dr. Matthews. Welcome back. It's February. It's 2024. Yeah, it's Black History Month, but that's not why I'm here today. I'm here today to tell you guys about one of the most epic carnival weeks ever. That's right. We are two months away from St. Thomas Carnival. The dates are in, and I'm here to give you all the tips on what you need to know if you're planning on going, or you might go after this video. So hopefully, I'll see you there. That's right, St. Thomas Carnival is a month-long event spanning from April into May. However, the last week of April into May is the jam-packed week going from Monday to Saturday, events day and night. And I'm here to give you all the tips, starting with the opening of the Carnival Village, starting from Monday, April 29th. The Carnival Village is the epicenter of the Carnival Festival, with a week-long lineup of artist performances bands and entertainment for all ages, along with various local booths and vendors provided all the local foods and drinks in one location. And for the kiddos, there's also a children's village, stacked with rides and games so the entire family can enjoy the festivities. And if you like the sound of that, then I'm just getting started. On Wednesday, May 1st, the island comes to life for Food Fair Day. It's the day all the local vendors come out to sell and show off their love for cooking, creating, and cultivating the essence of the island. It's a daytime event, starting from about 9 a.m. to about mid-afternoon or so. I suggest getting out early before all your favorite foods run out. Personally, the food fair day is what I call the unofficial start to a non-stop fed session. Like I said earlier, the Carnival Village is where you'll head for most of your evening entertainment. It's a free event for all. Each night there's a theme from local band night, reggae night, Latin night, or you might even be surprised with some of the top names in the businesses blessing the stage from Marshall, Montana. Lyrical. I mentioned it's all free that's right free well if you're still not convinced Thursday May 2nd is Juve 
Juve e Monte. Juve is where the entire island, and I mean the entire island, comes out for 4 a.m. in the morning, dressed to impress or barely dressed, ready to tramp in the streets and dance to the beats and drink and eat with one another. This is a no-judgment zone. You can let your guard down and just have fun. Juve is a celebration of life. It's a time to let go, a time to fret with your neighbors or meet new people. The Juve experience usually set the tempo for the remaining days ahead. Juve traditionally starts on the west end of the island, near Pueblo or Banco Popular or former Adelita Concrain Junior High School. The various bands and troops all gather in almost chaotic harmony as truck by truck, followed by thousands of people, tramp up the waterfront all the way to the Carnival Village, where all the bands collide for one last clash, which erupts into a wet fret. I know, right? Sounds too good to be true. Only, it's all that, and some. Which leads me to Children Parade, Friday, May 3rd. The adults had our fun, now it's time for the kiddos. Yeah, so like I said, the Children Parade. So this is a time where all the kiddos, they've been working all year round with their costumes, their performances. You now it's a time for them to reflect, also be a part of the culture. And we all come out to support them, you know, it's an island-wide thing, so we come out, they line up the roadside, you get your boots, your umbrellas, everybody come out to support their children. The children tend to come up the road in their different various costumes, displaying parts of the culture of the island. You may see stuff like the major rats, the makajumbis, the steel pan. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, trust me, it's a very festive time and it just goes along with the festivities, you know? Sit on the roadside, enjoy the cool breeze, and it's probably like a few hours out there enjoying the kids. Also that day, there are various parties and stuff on the island. Right, so their horse race day on that day as well. Um, the parade usually starts from around 9. It usually goes till about 4 or 3 o'clock, depending on the amount of troops they have in. But bring your umbrella, because there's always a slight chance of rain shower. After the kiddos enjoy their Friday, head to the village that night. But for most adults who are in the adult parade, it's all about the Saturday. Saturday, May 4th, is the adult parade. Guys, this is the highlight of St. Thomas Carnival. This is where you get to come out in the street with all the beautiful colors, all the costumes. Like, guys, trust me, you do not want to miss this day. So come out early, get your spots, get your seat, and sit back and be ready to be blown away. <laughs> Trouble, just watch how we cause the trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Everybody buying bottles, bottles, bottles. Why not so we cause the trouble? Trouble. Somebody in my room, so much of this. Yes, let's catch a spot anywhere along the parade route if you just want to see the troops. But there's two famous locations where the troops actually stop and do their routine, and this is usually where they judge the road march song. There are two locations where I know that they usually do it at. One is right in front of the market square where they start. And the other one is located in front of the post office in town. That's where the judges' boots are and usually where the governor and the dignitaries are. So that's a great place to go to see performances. And trust me, you wouldn't want to miss it. Like I said, that's where the dignitaries are. So make sure you look out for us. Because my mother has been holding out the same spot for 20 years or more now. And that's why you see us front line and center. People usually call and be like, yo, I saw you on TV because the radio stations, the TV stations usually come by and do interviews. Also a great place to collect gifts. My daughter, I've got a card to watches. All kind of stuff there, guys. So come on, look out for it. You don't want to miss it. So we covered the day events. And like I said, the Carnival Village, 
from Monday to Saturday is usually the place to line. There's over 50 or more booths, stage show, live performances. That's where you get a lot of your food, your local drinks. And like I said, guys, all free. So anytime you're looking for something to do, just make your way over to the Carnival Village. There's a carnival side for the kids, and there's a festival side for the adults. So, the adult parade usually starts around the same time, 9 or 10. That goes a little bit longer. It goes till about, i say 6 in the evening at least. Most people, you could go home and freshen up. Some people head straight to the village because around 8.30 or 9 o'clock, it's the fireworks show. of the carnival because it kind of celebrates and signifies the ending of a great carnival. So what we usually do is we sit on the waterfront, you can bring your chair, some people can park their cars there, and you just sit back. There's usually a radio station you tune into that there's a soundtrack to it, but I mean it's beautiful. It's like you're seeing the fireworks from above and below because the water reflects all the fireworks. It's a beautiful scenery, guys. So that usually lasts about a half an hour or so, and then you work your way up to the carnival village for the last lap. It's usually a great artist. I think last year we had Fian Lines and Bungie Garland finished closing off the village that night. Trust me guys, you don't want to miss it. St. Thomas Carnival 2024, the dates are in April 28th to May 5th. See you there or be square.